Hi, this tutorial is the first part of the series API 6 in Kubernetes where we will look into using Apache API 6 to handle traffic to Kubernetes services with hands-on examples. In this tutorial, we will set up API 6 to work as Kubernetes ingress. But first, what is Kubernetes ingress? It is a Kubernetes native object used for exposing your services to external traffic. It consists of a set of rules written in a specified way that governs how to route this external traffic to your services. These rules are then implemented by ingress controllers like Apache API 6 ingress. Under the hood, API 6 ingress has two components, the API 6 ingress controller and the API 6 API gateway. The API 6 ingress controller acts as a wrapper for the API 6 API gateway and converts the configuration or the rules from Kubernetes native format to API 6 configuration. The API 6 API gateway will then implement these rules. Now, let's look at an example and see how it all works. We'll start by setting up a Kubernetes environment. For this, we'll use Minikube. Make sure you also install kubectl and helm before you move on. The version of these tools I used while recording this are mentioned here. You can follow this tutorial from the article linked in the description below. All instructions and configuration files should be available there. Once your environment is ready, it is time to deploy a sample application. We will be using the bare minimum API as our sample application. It is a basic service written in Go and would return a response with the configured version of the application. If you run an instance of the bare minimum API with version v1, a get request to the application will give you back a message with the version v1. And if you run an instance with version v2, you will get back a response with version v2. I have here a Kubernetes cluster running locally on my machine with Minikube. Now I can deploy our sample application, the bare minimum API, in it. I will deploy two versions, v1.0 and v2.0 to simulate two versions of a service. You can find these commands from the links mentioned in the description below. With the sample application deployed, we can deploy API 6 and API 6 ingress controller to the cluster and start routing external traffic to our sample application. I'll use Helm to deploy this. You can learn more about other installation methods from the API 6 documentation linked in the description below. It will take some time to start everything and once it is done, we are ready to configure API 6. We will configure API 6 to achieve the following. Get requests to the path v1 should be routed to the bare minimum API v1 service. And get requests to the path v2 should be routed to the bare minimum API v2 service. It looks like API 6 is up and running now and ready to be configured. You can configure API 6 in two ways, using the API 6 custom resources or with the native Kubernetes ingress resource. I have already written some configuration file for this series of tutorials and we will go through each of these. For now, we will look at a sample configuration using both the API 6 CRDs and the Kubernetes ingress resource. Let's start with the CRDs as this is the recommended way to configure API 6 in Kubernetes. To configure routes, we will use 
API 6 route. We'll add some metadata to identify this configuration. Now this is where the interesting part comes in. We will create a route that would match all requests with hostname local.navindu.me with the path v1 to the bare minimum API v1 service. For the second route, we'll match the path v2 to the bare minimum API v2 service. I think this configuration is human readable, but if you want to learn more, you can check the resources in the description below. You can apply this configuration by running kubectl apply. The API 6 ingress controller will convert this configuration to API 6 configuration. Now let's test API 6 to see if this configuration worked. Since I was using Minikube, I will create a tunnel to access the API 6 gateway. I will open a new terminal to keep this running while I'll test. I can use this address to access Apache API 6. Now if I try to send a request to the v1 path, it should route the request to the bare minimum API v1 service. And it does. Now if I change the path, it routes to the other service exactly like we configured. I mentioned there was another way to configure API 6 using the native Kubernetes ingress API. Let's look at the same configuration but with this API. It looks similar but there are some minor changes. But you will still be able to make out that both the configurations are the same. We will look into how these APIs or resources differ and how to choose what to use in a future video. In the next parts of this series, we will look into configuring traffic control and using API 6 plugins in Kubernetes. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time.